What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make a thousand dollars a day painting garages. I'm here with the special guest, Tim. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, first, I want to say thanks for having me. Um, yeah, my name's Tim, Tim O'Laughlin. I have a side hustle YouTube channel where I bring you guys along, show you different side hustles. And uh, painting uh, is my main side hustle. So uh, that's the footage you guys are watching today of me painting a garage. Absolutely. So we're going to go deep on um, painting garages and why it is, you know, a good thing that people can add to their side hustles. However, before we get into that, I do want to mention that if you guys want to learn how we land jobs like this using Facebook advertisements, check out the first link in the comment section and the description. Uh, me and Tim put together a campaign on uh, painting actually and we ran it on Facebook we ended up getting 25 message conversions on $26 of ad spend so if you pop into that first link in the comment section description you'll be able to see the exact ad that we ran but with that being said let's go ahead and hop right into this one so Tim you know I got a ton of new construction over here and a lot of times with the new construction they don't finish these garages um, I don't necessarily know why maybe you can fill us in on that but uh, it just seems like a good hustle to get in there and finish that garage for these people yeah totally I think uh, the builders are of the homes they're not required to paint the garage they're actually only required to do what they call a level two sheetrock finish they just mud mud over the screws and you can see there all those lines and everything that's just a real basic sheetrock job so i think maybe the builder doesn't they do offer it but i think um, in order to get it done get it painted it costs more for the buyer what i learned was you could easily go in and pitch to these guys it's like a one day job you could walk in there and have that sucker painted and uh, we do a lot of these garages. We ran that ad and we got a bunch of garages out of it. Absolutely. So can you kind of tell us a little bit about how you got this job in particular? So this job, actually, <clears throat> we ran the ad for the garages, you know, and then I got a couple hits on that and then I videotaped it. And then I put another couple videos up on my Facebook page and a buddy of mine that I know, he owns a gas station down the street, he saw it and then hit me up about it. So then I went out and did it for him. Okay, so before we get too deep into it, you know, it kind of looks a little bit daunting. You're using the airless sprayer here, you have a helper. Is this something that someone could do on their own and with not a ton of experience in the paint business? Yes, absolutely. So you could absolutely do this without a sprayer. Um, even the cheapest sprayer that they have like at Home Depot and Lowe's is about 300 bucks and that would totally be perfect for a job like this. But you could do it by yourself with a couple buckets and a roller. Just make sure you're going to prime. Uh, you want to make sure you prime because the sheetrock's real porous and then the mud that they use to tape the lines is also very porous. So if you just went applied paint, it's not going to have a good finish. And I think uh, most homeowners could do it themselves, but if they could, you know, pay somebody to do it in one day, be in and out, I think that's where the benefit comes and they're they're willing to pay me to do it because I'm doing it for considerably cheaper than the builder would do it for. Okay, absolutely. And so you actually did the floor on this job as well, right, Tim? Yeah, we came in afterwards and put an epoxy coating on the floor, which um, epoxy coating is another great little thing to add to if you're a painter or even like um, landscape because it's something so simple. Those epoxy coatings for garage floors are made um, for like DIY for homeowners to use. So really no experience in this step-by-step instructions are really straightforward so um I, I like doing the epoxy flooring um the product is expensive but you know it's um a lot of people are scared of it for whatever reason because it dries really quickly and you do have to buy some additional tools to do it to really do it right and um that's just a, like, like an upsell you get in there do the garage you could talk to them about the floor and you get the floor and you know you could turn a, a a real quick one day job into a you know a few day job and make a nice little payday Okay, awesome. So if you guys get any of these garages, it's a it's an easy upsell to get the floor done as well, right, Tim? Yeah, you know, I want to also say it goes either way. If you could get in doing the floor, you could try to upsell them to the the painted walls. But really, what I've noticed is I've been able to sell more floors painting the walls first because once they see that garage all nice and finished instead of that dingy brown raw building material, then it's like, hey, you know, now you got to get that a floor epoxy. That's usually how I pitch it, like as a joke like hit them on the back hey you know now it looks so nice and they're like hey well how much would that cost and then boom pretty much got them there you know and then once you do a few of them you're able because there's like it's a two-part deal you got to mix it so once you do a couple you have leftover material that you could use hardener and the tools so it each time you do it you know it gets cheaper and cheaper to do it all right tim so can you kind of break down the steps for us a little bit like i wouldn't really know where to begin in this process so kind of break it down as if you're talking to somebody who doesn't know what they're doing yeah no problem so there's a couple different things. Do you see that white, the white lines? Well, the white lines are, are very rough. Now the builder's not gonna do a good job to smooth them out. So essentially you could float it all out if the homeowner wanted like a super smooth, 
smooth finish like you would have like say in your dining room or your living room but this is just a garage so most people don't want that so basically you have to have to have to every time make sure that you prime it with a suitable primer and i'm not talking just like a one two three which sometimes that will work but um what we like to use is it's called a pva and this is a specially formulated to prime stuff like sheetrock and the sheetrock mud so it's very important to make sure you get pva as your very first coating that you put on and after you do the pva you can apply paint and i always recommend do two coats of paint uh, but make sure um, before you do the PV pva it's very helpful to maybe dust down the walls a little bit if you you know just grab a broom or something just try to knock some of the dust off the walls and that'll help really seal it up and then you can get a nice clean finish once the, and even rolling it on is fine you know you can roll it on you don't have to have a sprayer okay awesome but if you did spray would you want to back roll as well on this Yes, you want to back roll because anytime that you have especially new construction type like this and the material is porous, it's always a good idea to go ahead and back roll, especially if you don't have a lot of experience with the sprayer. Um, you could just kind of spray it on heavy and spread it out with the back roller. Um, just make sure that if you are using a sprayer, make sure to tape everything off like you see in the video. We got plastic and everything around because you do get a lot of overspray and fallout. But um, this is a pretty big garage. This is like three car garage tandem and it has like an extra little back piece too. But for your standard two car garage, I mean, you can come in, throw a few drops down, throw some cardboard or something around the perimeter and just go to town with a brush and roller. OK, excellent. Is it harder to paint the ceiling than it is the walls? Oh, yeah, it's a whole thing. You, you got to get the right kind of angle. Like it's um, like with anything, once you get started, you kind of feel rhythm. Once you find that rhythm, it's real easy and you almost get lost in it. You just kind of that's what I the part of painting that I enjoy is those times when you're just kind of doing the really repetitive thing got some music going or whatever and you just kind of get in the zone and then it's funny because somebody be like oh can you teach me and it's like i don't even know exactly what i'm doing you just got to kind of get in there it's real repetitive you know it doesn't take long i mean it's painting it, it painting is a good entry level because you just get in there and, and the, the hard part about painting is all the products and all the different things but when we're talking just putting some paint on the wall super simple man anybody could do it okay beautiful man hey you gave us some great tips in this uh tim i think you know this is a cool little side hustle that guys can get into definitely epoxying as well i'd love to do a video um with you on that so we'll try to do that next time but uh every guest that comes on the channel has to pick the word of the day man so what would you like the word of the day to be primer primer the word of the day is primer if you made it this far in the video comment on primer and i'll hashtag you a real one be sure to check out tim's channel i'll have it linked in the comment section description as well as that facebook ad strategy if you guys are curious but until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace. Peace.